and then creating value. So like this is one big one with us, um, you know, as an IT services business, certainly we get calls all the time from companies saying, oh, I, I just need somebody to provide us help desk. You know, I just want somebody we can call when our people have a problem or I just want to buy equipment from you. And then you know, don't worry, maybe set it up and then we're good from there. Well, you know, as a, a managed IT provider, really the the benefit you know shell hit on it is trying to make people more productive and make the business more productive give their you know people a better experience using technology provide them with strategic guidance and things like that that's the value that we provide and we're not going to work with anybody that we're we can't add a value to if they want you know a company that, that'll just do the the bare minimum they have hundreds of other options so, you know, that's definitely one of our philosophies here. It may or may not be for you or your business, but, you know, when you're talking about your core customers, you know, what is the value that you provide? How do you make a difference, you know, to the businesses that you, you know, service or the products that you provide for them? Yeah, and I think it, it's worth saying as well here, Mike, is, you know, one of the things that's certainly been drilled into us by our business coaches, uh, as well as things that we have learned over the years, particularly in the service industry, is that not every client is the right client. And, exactly. you know, we, we go in, we've honed it down now, um, you know, with our, our business development team with uh, Ty and, uh, and Mike and everyone involved in that to really getting out there and qualifying those core customers and establishing what those customers look like and not dealing with the people who don't fit in that, uh, at least somewhat within that uh, diagram, because it, will almost 100% of the time lead to resentment and eventually either you firing the client or the client leaving because it just wasn't a fit. So it just saves so much time, trouble, and it affects the morale of the uh, organization um, quite profoundly. And, you know, that is the last thing that you want to do. So really get good at finding out who your core customers are. Yeah. Exactly. And I think it's, it's the same as uh, we were talking about earlier when you're, you're evaluating your employees and the most amount of time goes to the weakest performers. It's the same thing with your client base. Usually the, the less aligned the client is with what your value is and what you're, what you're trying to do to, to service them, they're the ones that take the most uh, amount of time and, and, and not leading you to success or, su or success on their end. Um, so you can't be everything to everyone and really, you know, knowing that the market you want to go after, knowing the niche, knowing your value uh, and then aligning those clients with it. Yeah, yeah. knowing knowing the value is the, the most, like Mike had brought up, the most important thing because we're not, you know, we are the experts. People come to us. They come to pay specifically and to you because you guys know what you're talking about and we know what we're talking about. And if someone is going to come to us and not, use us the way that they want to use it, that they need to use us. It's a waste of our time and it's a waste of our team's time. It's just not a fit. Yeah. Finding as many ways as you can to add value to whatever product or service that you're offering just generally makes you more sticky as well with your clients. Otherwise, you're just going to reduce yourself to a commodity that somebody can get anywhere. You want some sort of that differentiation. A lot of that differentiation comes in the value that you provide. 